In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can resize um, the 3D helmet, um, and also I'm gonna show you how to convert lines as a score line, as it seems like Design Space is not keeping the lines as a score line for all the SVGs. Um, so you're gonna see that uh, these lines may need to be converted afterwards. So I'm going to insert or upload the design so you can see exactly how it looks. So one thing that you can see here is that um, you kind of need to double check that the size is correct. Um, you can see the size on the instructions PDF that you receive along with the SVG. And also I will recommend to decrease the percentage so you can have a complete view of the design. So once you have uploaded your SVG and decreased the percentage, so make sure the SVG is keeping the original size, which is this one that you can see right now. And I have indicated these measurements on the PDF instructions that you receive along with the SVG, but I mentioned it here um, just to let you know one more time that these are the original dimensions that you need uh, for the SVGs. As I have seen that sometimes once you upload an SVG into the design space, for some reason increases the size immensely. <laughs> so um, make sure these are the dimensions that you get right away. And if not, then you just have to update the one right here and it automatically update this part right here. So this is the original size for the SVG, but if you want to make it bigger or if you want to make it the size that I um, make the helmet on my YouTube video. Uh, so the instructions I have mentioned that it needs to have 15 inches here. So let's say you want to make it exactly the same size as the one I made on the YouTube video. All you will need to do is change this to be 15.478, press enter, and this is the size that you are going to have. You won't have to do anything else other than work with the lines, convert them to score, and um, attach them, because if we go to make it, uh, you will see that, unfortunately, the lines are not staying in place. So I'm gonna click cancel here for now. Okay. So if you want a size different than that, then what you will have to do is um, make a copy of this one right here, which is the main part of the helmet. I'm gonna click copy and then I'm gonna hit paste here. So you need one of those and you also need this square right here because that's the the base that is gonna hold the box. So I'm gonna scroll down here just to see where that is and it's here. So uh, let's get both because it seems like it's making two here. So I'm gonna click copy and then so now that I have these two pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to click Align, Horizontal, and then uh, Align uh, at the bottom. And this is kind of the size that my helmet is going to be fully assembled. So the only other piece that is missing there is this one. So we can just make a copy of that one to kind of see the entire size. So I'm just going to click copy and paste. And let's say it's going to be there. I'm just kind of estimating here. Um, just to kind of have a briefly idea on how big my helmet is going to be. So once I have it here, 
I'm just gonna group all of these <coughs> and that's the size of my helmet so it's gonna be 8.2 inches from this point to this point and the height of the entire design or the entire helmet is gonna be 6.72 so that's the that's gonna be the entire this the final size for the completely um, assemble um, of the helmet now if you kind of want to know the size to estimate the actual size of the box so then what you could do is I'm just gonna ungroup this for now and I'm gonna bring these pieces right here so it's giving me two squares because the this one right here that's supposed to be score line is not keeping it that way um, so I'm just gonna keep them together for now just to make sure <coughs> so this is the actual kind of gives you the idea of what's the size of the bags so if you see the height of your bags is gonna be this one so we can just let's see where is the I think it's this one yeah so that's the size so your bags with this size that we have right now is going to be 3.47 inches high that's going to be the height and then the other size is going to be this one which is pretty much this part right here so that's kind of kind of tells you the the size of the bags by itself but the best way to <coughs> to me to calculate the entire size is as I, as I said uh, just putting these pieces together I'm gonna center this and align to the bottom and then I'm putting this one here to kinda have an idea of how big my helmet is gonna be at the end and this is this is the actual size that I have right now based on the increase that I made according to the box that I made on my YouTube video so if you want it even bigger so it's up to you you just have to play with this one so let's say I want it to be this big so what I will have to do is if I want it this big it's gonna be 12 feet almost 13 inches wide and 10.73 inches high so then what you will have to do is you will have to increase this piece right here kind of calculating the, the the size of this part right here and then bring this one uh, let's see it doesn't have the option to bring the front so it's already like that and then you you kind of put it on top of this because this give you the idea okay uh, I can see that the one below or behind is bigger so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller until I kind of see the size that I want I can see here that is still bigger so I'm just gonna make it a little bit small and that will be the size I don't need to touch any other piece because this piece pretty much gives me the, the the size that I need to use so now that I can put this one on top and see that it's pretty much exactly the same that I calculated with this one all I need to do now is change the the um, the lines here to be square so uh, to do that I'm gonna remove this one <coughs> sorry and I'm gonna ungroup this piece for now because I need to treat these pieces separately so if you see we have two helmets here so these lines right here are um, score lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach first and then I'm gonna select the two lines that say that say basic cut and I'm gonna go to um, score and now I have them right so since I need these two pieces but I already did this step with this one I'm just gonna remove this one and I'm gonna make a copy of this one. copy 
and paste. <coughs> I have it here. So now I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to click attach first and then I'm going to select the two lines and go to basic cut and select score. I'm going to do the same with this one. I need two pieces of this one also. So I'm going to hit attach and I'm going to select this three and score. I can either make a copy of this one and delete this one or I can just follow the same steps with this one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit attach and then I'm going to select these three lines and score. And with this one I also have two pieces. I'm going to hit attach. I want to select the two, line, the two lines and change them to score so before I do this one and this one I just want to show you something if I click make it so I can see now that I have this line so but you are gonna notice that the ones that I didn't make are not gonna have lines and those lines are gonna be on the very first one right here so I always recommend before you actually start cutting just make sure that all your pieces have the score lines attach and convert as a score so I'm gonna do this and I also want you to notice that once you do that and click in attach so you select this piece then you hit attach and that part these lines along with the shape move all the way to the top and then all you need to do here is select both the lines that need to be scored and select score and for this one I'm just gonna move this just to have a clear view here so they are already grouped so you all you need to do is click attach and then for this one make sure you are scoring the one in the center or the one inside, not the one outside, you can tell right there and then select select uh, score and now we have all the pieces the way that they should be so one thing that I want you to let you know is that depending of the size that you um, use to cut these pieces when you click make it it's gonna tell you that some of the images are larger than 11.5 inches so you may need a larger mat so um, I don't have my Cricut turned on right now so I don't know if it will detect it or not to be honest <laughs> I haven't tried that before so I'm just gonna click cancel so if you have a larger mat than the one that cuts 12 by, by 12 inches then you can make it bigger as much as you want because the main piece that is gonna determine for you to need a larger mat is this one right here which is the one that goes all across the top of the helmet so if you don't have a larger mat then I will recommend to make it smaller or liver the size that I created originally and once you click make it it's not gonna give you that message so here you can see that it's still giving me that message so we have to make it smaller let's let's take it back to the size that I gave you um, let me just check the instructions so it was 12 12.482 I'm gonna click enter and then if I click make it you can see that it's not giving me that message and here once you click here you can see here that you still have some room to make it bigger so let's go back to um, the size that I actually made it Oops, I had to select everything. Make sure you are selecting everything. And let's use the size that I made 
my um, my helmet. So it was seven four seven eight. It's gonna change a little bit because I moved these pieces right here, but it should be pretty much the same. So now if I click make it. It's giving me the message because um, probably move this ones and or this one now it gets too big. So you can see here if I click here, it's giving me 11.8. So it needs to be no no more than I will say 10.75. So let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna click make it again. So now it didn't give me the message and if you see if I click here, right, I have the perfect size. So if you don't have a larger mat, then this will be the size that you will need to use. So it will be approximately 14.8 uh, inches here and the height will be 21.159 approximately. But if you have a larger mat, then you can be make it bigger as much as the space that you have on your on your on your larger mat for this one right here okay so this will be pretty much the steps that you will need to follow to resize it uh, so if you want to make it the size that I made it you just have to adjust this size right here and then work with the lines and then if you want a different size then I recommend to make a copy of this one as I mentioned it, along with this one put them together and then check how big you want to have your helmet um, and then after that you just have to cut the pieces and follow the instructions for the um, to put all the pieces together according to the other link that you receive uh, as part of the instructions uh, please let me know if you have additional questions you can leave your comments below or you can contact me uh, through Etsy or um, all the ways that you can contact me either Instagram or Facebook um, and I will be happy to help you um, also I would like to hear your thoughts um, about the score lines so it seems like since the science space is not doing is not keeping the lines as a score I wonder if um, you would like these lines to be kind of like a perforated score lines well they are not score anymore they are perforated lines um, that way you don't have to change to follow all the steps to attach and, and convert this line to score let me know your thoughts because I will be happy to work on this design along with the others and convert this this line so you don't have to worry about it or for future designs that I will be making. Okay, thank you and I will see you next time. Bye bye.